the early noughties were the time to be alive for any glamour model worth their salt. And Jodie Marsh was one of the most memorable thanks to that boob belt dress and her vicious feud with fellow lads mags heavyweight, Katie Price. Unlike Katie, who always ensures she's still a talking point, after the fake tan was packed away, Jodie turned her attentions to other pursuits, becoming a bodybuilder and a campaigning vegan. But the star, who turns 44 today, has had a rough ride over the last couple of years thanks to an alleged betrayal by the man she loved, and the death of her mum from aggressive cancer. And that's on top of being ghosted by one of her celebrity big brother pals. Here, the mirror takes a look at what came next for Jody. Split from cheating toy boy Elvis impersonator in May this year, Jody revealed that she'd split from 25-year-old Elvis impersonator Billy Collins Nuttall after three years together. The model started dating Billy in 2019, but dumped him after allegedly discovering that he'd been sexting other women. Taking to Instagram, a heartbroken Jody said, Billy and I have split up. Turns out has been cheating on me for the whole three years. Sexting other girls and begging for naked photos, which has got by the bucket load. This has been going on literally the whole three years we've been together. He admitted to everything when I confronted him and I have screenshot, sick, all the evidence to prove it as I'm not going to have anyone think anything other than the truth. Ghosted by celebrity Big Brother pal Chantel Houghton recently admitted she ditched good pal Jody Marsh for fame after winning CBB. The pair, who starred in the 2006 show where Chantel met singer Preston and eventually married, got close in the house before fake celeb turned model Chantel deleted Jody's number. Then aged just 22, Chantel became an instant celebrity after the show with her romance with Preston gracing celebrity mags, before she slid from fame after having a doomed fling with Alex Reed, they later went on to have daughter Dolly. Chantel explained to Daily Star how after being plunged into fame she got some advice which saw her slam the door shut in Jodie's face. She said, I've never really spoken about this before, but I came out and yes we were friendly in the house. We were from the same county, Essex, and when I came out of the house I'm not actually sure if we spoke on the phone or message. But basically the truth is I was told not to associate with her, I was told if I wanted a career then I should distance myself. That is the honest truth. Chantel added, looking back, was I right to listen to that advice? I mean, I was young, I had just come out of a massive reality show, didn't know my left from my right. Yeah, did I do the right thing? I don't know. I hope if she was to hear this, she wouldn't be hurt by that. It wasn't me saying it but I obviously listened to their advice and I wish the girls all the best. Mom's traumatic death It was with a heavy heart that Jody announced the death of her beloved mom Christina in September 2020 from cancer. Taking to Twitter, she wrote, My beautiful, classy, kind, generous, clever, incredible mom passed away this morning. She was my best friend and the strongest woman I know. She was the best mom in the world and the best human you could ever wish to know. I love you so so much mom. How do I do this without you? Just four months before, Jody told how her mom had been turfed out of hospital because of the coronavirus pandemic despite battling an aggressive form of cancer, and admitted she was fading fast at home. In January 2021, she bravely shared her grief with fans, revealing she was struggling to cope under the weight of the grief. 
Today has been a rough day for me. I felt angry and frustrated all day, until eventually I had to melt down slash outburst and then deep crying sobs. I am really struggling today, she told her Instagram followers. I miss mum so much and it feels like as the world carries on, I'm supposed to just be normal and fine when I don't feel it at all. Inside I'm broken and trying every day to hold it together. I'm also trying to be strong for those around me. I know I don't have to be but I want to be. Anyway, I don't want sympathy, I just wanted to share how I'm feeling. The reality star added, I've been crying since about 3pm and I can't stop. And that's okay. It's okay to cry and it's normal to grieve. It's good to talk about it. Reignited feud with Katie Price Late last year, Katie Price reignited her decades-old feud with Jody by branding her a nobody in her bombshell book, Harvey and Me. The former glamour model, 44, took aim at her longtime nemesis in the pages of her autobiography, calling her the lowest of the low for dating Katie's ex after she met Peter Andre on Emma Celebrity. I met my first husband Peter Andre when I was in the jungle, Katie wrote. I had a couple of relationships when Harvey was a baby, and I was with a guy called Scott Sullivan at the time. But you know me Terry's always some drama, I had actually split up with him just before I did the show, so it wasn't just like I bunny hopped to another man. And then Scott went to the lowest of the low and got with Jody Marsh. Over the years there has been some major mudslinging between the two women, with Katie once claiming Jody slept with nearly all my leftovers and not one of them wanted you. She also mocked Jody's appearance, comparing her rival's nose to a builder's elbow. In retaliation, Jody hit out at Katie's Bond villain teeth, retweeting a meme of Katie's gnashers with a series of laughing emojis, 